Okay, so we are going on the test ride with the Trek Powerfly FS7. It is crazy windy. We're turning it on down at the switch here. I don't know if you can see or not. There we go. That should be better. So the power unit's down here telling us our speed, how much battery is left. Right now it's off. It is crazy windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, and we'll give it a go. Um, does have a few modes, so it has eco, touring, e-mountain bike, and turbo. I will probably run the whole thing in e-mountain bike. Okay, so climbing a bit of a hill here. We're in e-mountain bike mode. So you do have to shift down, but still super easy. With e-mountain bike on Bosch systems, essentially it changes modes automatically depending on how you're pedaling. So if you're pedaling lightly and easy, you only get a light small amount of resistance and as you ramp up it then increases to already I'm going way faster than I normally go on this trail like I'm gonna crush some Strava segments here this is nuts the e-mountain bike mode definitely is nice to ride. Oh. Oh. Um, a little twitchy through the corners when you're kind of doing those half pedal positions. The electric system really jumps at you. Um, it's kind of accelerate coming out of a corner crazy fast. Someone built those up. Riding though, apart from it being a little more noisy, it feels like biking. It doesn't feel any different, apart from it's way easier, obviously. This is just. If you watch the previous video, XC on a 160 mil travel bike, I'm pretty out of breath by here. I can't talk. Oh. That was interesting. I had to shift into turbo mode, so I hadn't shifted yet. So E-Mountain Bike definitely keeps it a little more real feeling. Makes you use your gears a little more. Oh, I'm wrong there. I'm not taking this jump for the first time on an e-bike, but it's cool to see. It's cool to see people are developing these trails a little bit. Even this one over here. Even on turbo, it's, it's interesting. I don't know if I'd ride on turbo that often on the trail. Pretty sketchy feeling. Too fast acceleration. You can definitely feel the uh, You can feel the weight, but you don't at the same time. It's a very rideable bike. Like, it's just too much fun. 
definitely makes it easy for you. If we switch it back down to Eco, I can already tell. Oh yeah, now I'm using my gears, but that hill is still way easier. This is a long, slow climb, so it's great to test the electric system on. It's a, uh, it's quiet, a little bit of a whine. It doesn't feel like you're being propelled by anything. It just feels like you're way stronger than you were. You bump it up to E mountain bike mode. And this is just crazy. I'm just tearing this up. Turbo at the same incline doesn't change anything. E mountain bike definitely has better kick on and off. So it kind of turns the motor off faster and kicks it back up to speed faster. And unlike not being able to, due to time constraints or physical constraints, and then natural rideability is just fantastic. My uh, Odometer on e mountain bike mode it says I have 18 kilometers left. This is only a 6k trail, so it'll be interesting to see if it stays accurate. This is a very hilly up and down course, so it'll be interesting to know how it fluctuates because at points we'll be using heavy. electronic and at other points just like then we use a non obviously in the higher modes you can definitely hear the motor more um, not enough I think to bother you or anyone to even hear I've ridden with people with e-bikes and I don't recall noticing the electric motor sound. Again, if I was just on a time constraint. Oh, I have to push. So this is a good time to test the walk assist mode. So walk assist is this lower bottom button. You push it and it says walk plus for a couple seconds. So you push it and before it disappears, hold the button. And essentially it goes 3.8K an hour, which is, I've tried it on flat ground before, feels fast, but on the trail, it is the perfect pushing speed. Very cool. To everyone who's watched this far in the video, I appreciate it. Um, and if you've subscribed, I appreciate that too. I'd like to keep making videos. Looking at bikes, the technology behind them, and then even my other interests, which would be actually the filming of this and behind the scenes of it all. So subscribing really helps. I guess it's just nuts. You can definitely hear the battery bounce around a little bit. I think that's what that is. definitely feel a little more weight 
in the mid to rear. Um, or just after where the steerer tube is really. Coming in fast corners, downhill. Really shifting is just to keep that rhythm right. But even when climbing it, it makes a huge difference. I'm not, it's just weird. It's like riding a bike, but the hills are all way easier. Shifting just as much. Maybe not as low as you used to go, but that mid-range set is going to get used. Like the weight, you know, as you come into corners, you're aware of. Ooh. And little things like that, where I normally just jump over it. I'm a little more skeptical of how much weight I've got. In the flow of things, it's good. But the ability to just throw it around is definitely impeded slightly. Oh. But technical sections like this is just, just insane. So my on trail review of this is, it's amazing. Do I want one? Yes. Would I miss the workout when I come to my regular spot? Yes. Um, it's definitely something you have to try if you're short on time, not as fast as you used to be, just getting into mountain biking and you have the cash. Starting on something like this, you'll definitely get fast on it. You'll learn necessary bike skills and you'll definitely be able to go everywhere where your friends are going. You'll definitely be able to climb faster than everyone. But that's what you want when you're just starting out or you don't have the lung capacity to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. It's really cool. Okay, so this is the downhill section if you want to call it that. So we're gonna give it a test. Like I say, we've felt the weight before. We're already going way faster because it accelerates like a maniac. Oh God. Oh. I'm going way too fast. I am slowing down. I could have absolutely sent it there. So, we've not been back on the path for uh, even a kilometer yet, and our range is already improving. We're back up to nine kilometers from eight kilometers when we finish the trail. So, updates fast. I'm not sure the exact increment or time, or if it's distance or time over the battery, um, but it updates fast as to what your range is gonna be. So, it will be a very accurate depiction when you're riding, um, how much battery range you're gonna be. And again, this entire time, I've been in e-mountain bike mode. Um, if I went back to Eco, which is still a pleasant ride, it bumps me already back up to 17 kilometers. And it honestly doesn't feel like I'm going any slower. Changes my speed going up two modes, one kilometer. So, yeah. So total ride distance, I just hit the 11 kilometer mark. Um, it does not feel like it. To me though, I don't have any uh, lung issues or muscle issues. I'm quite a avid cyclist, so it's not like I needed the assistance. Doing 11 kilometers in 35 minutes, so that I would not have done. So it is kind of cool that even if you have no reason to have one, the time constraint thing is really um, something which is amazing. Like you could get this ride done in 40 minutes as opposed to an hour 
which is pretty impressive. 